Hey, it's Corey from Mahalo.com. You're about to see some screen tests of people who applied to be the host for our music channel. This is your chance to comment and tell us who you'd like to see become the new host. If you think you could do a better job and you live in the LA area, we encourage you to submit a video response telling us why you could be the next great host of Mahalo.com. We really appreciate your feedback. Hi, my name is Nikki O'Neill and I'm from Los Angeles. I'm a guitarist, singer, songwriter, and guitar teacher. And uh, my band is the Nikki O'Neill Band. It's like a classic rock meets soul and funk band. And I've been playing for about 25 years, I think. Yeah, it's a long time. I got my first guitar when I was 16. And uh, I've been teaching since about 2004. And that includes private lessons with students have been from ages 5 to 65. I've been teaching at uh, the New School University in New York. I taught uh, probably the only university level course in the US of uh, women's contemporary rock guitar where we were teaching you know all the cool like female guitarists that are out there and, and what they do so that's a class I've done I've taught guitar workshops at the Museum of Making Music and I've also taught at an all-female rock music college in Sweden I was there twice in 2005 and uh, um, so lots of teaching experience. I love what I do. And uh, my website, or I should say my websites, if you want to check out my teaching, uh, you can go to NikkiOneal.com. That's N-I-K-K-I-O-N-E-I-L-L.com. And if you want to check out my band, it's simply NikkiOneilBand.com. I'm going to teach Who Says by Selena Gomez. And I'm going to do it for those of you who are total beginners on the guitar, who've never picked up a guitar before. We're going to do it on super easy chords, and uh, the song, um, let me tell you about the structure first, because it's a really typical structure for a lot of Disney pop songs. You got the intro, the verse, then a pre-chorus, and then a chorus, and then it repeats. So you get another verse, pre-chorus, and chorus, and then to break things up a little bit, there's going to be a bridge, and then there's the last, uh, one last chorus, and then there's something called an outro, which is pretty much like another chorus, but there's a little bit of variation in the singing. So the very first chord of the song is going to be an easy E chord. And you're going to take your index finger, your pointer finger, and you're going to go over to the third string. So one, two, three, and you're going to place it just above the first fret. So like that. And then you can take your pick, and for those of you who never held a guitar pick before, you want to hold the pointy part down. So, and just hold it between your thumb and index finger. It's, you know, pretty easy, just like you naturally pick it up. Just keep the pointy part down. And then here's our E chord. So, hope you were holding on to your finger against that third string. And it's E chord sounds like this. So let me do it one more time. If it doesn't sound quite like this, you might want to check. Are you pressing down on that third string hard enough? You have to press down pretty hard to get that sound. So anyway, so this is the E chord. Okay, the next chord we're going to do is an A chord. And you're going to take your index finger that's been on the first fret of the third string, and let's just move it up so it's now on the second, second fret. Then, you're going to take your middle finger and you're going to put it down on the second fret of the second string. So you got the second frets of the third and second strings pressed down with your index and middle finger. And the first string is open, it means we're going to play it, but you're not going to put a finger on it. So grabbing our pick, this is what an A chord sounds like. Okay, so one more time. And if it sounds a little buzzy, it doesn't sound right, you know, if it sounds muffled like this, you want to check your left hand. Check, make sure that your fingers are pressed down. And also, make sure that your fingertip isn't laying against any, you know, the adjacent string. So you don't want to mute it by accident. Okay, that's our A chord. Now we're going to do the next one. I'm going to place my index finger on the fourth fret of the first string. Okay, so you get... There's that one. Now we need two more fingers. You're going to take your middle finger, press it down against the fifth fret of the second string, 
and make sure that sounds good. And then we need one more finger. So this is probably the trickiest chord if you're a total beginner, but you can take your ring finger and you're gonna press it down against the sixth fret of the third string. So what you get is, if you look at the chord shape, it's almost like a staircase where it goes like fourth fret, fifth fret, sixth fret. And this is a C sharp minor chord. And it sounds like this. And again, if it's buzzy, check your left hand. What we're gonna do first is the intro and there's not gonna be any singing there. There's, it's basically like setting up the song. And I'm gonna give myself, I'm gonna tap my foot. So it's like one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So my foot is tapping and I'm gonna strum with my right hand in, in the same beat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And that's the intro. And I know she sings something like, I wouldn't want to be anybody else. So you can kind of throw that in there. So that's the intro. Now we're moving on to the verse. So again, remember E, A, C sharp minor, back to A. And it's going to go like this. Strum that eight times. Then change to the A chord, do the same thing, eight strums on A. A, 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 A. Then you do the same thing with the C sharp minor. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then go back to A. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight get the pre-chorus. The pre-chorus is a part that's like builds up the anticipation to the chorus. So it's the na 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 part. It goes like this. Change to the A. I'm no beauty queen. I'm just beautiful me. Then change to C sharp minor. to the A. You've got every right to a beautiful life. Come on. And now we're in the chorus. That's the part that we all want to hear. It's that part of the song that, you know, sticks to your head. If there's anything that we remember of a, a tune, it's the chorus. You may have forgotten everything else, but here's the chorus. So same chord changes. E, A, C sharp minor, A. One, two, three, four. Who says, who says you're not perfect? Who says you're not worth it? Who says you're the only one that's hurting? Trust me, that's the price of beauty. Who says you're not pretty? Who says you're not beautiful? And then she kind of ends it with, who says, with the E chord. So it kind of wraps it up. And then after that, then it repeats. Like I said, then it's another verse, pre-chorus and chorus. So you're gonna play the same chords and the melody is gonna be the same pretty much. She kind of embellishes it a little bit. Um, you know, varies, varies her singing, uh, but, and the lyrics change of course, but otherwise, you know, play the same thing as before. Okay, so we're at the bridge now and the chords are the same. So it's just the, the lyrics and melody change and we're gonna be back at our E chord. So here we go, one, Two, three, four. Who says you're not star potential? Who says you're not presidential? And then it goes to the A. And then C sharp minor. Who says you don't pass the test? And then back to the A. Who said? Who said? Can you tell me who said that? Yeah, who said? Like hold out the A a little longer so it builds that in anticipation until you get to the chorus Who says? and so forth and you just play two choruses and that's the end of the song and that's really easy and um, thank you so much for watching and I uh, hope to see you again soon